this is how Ubuntu looks like when you install it for the first time. In this screenshot, as you can see, it is using the GNOME desktop environment and most of the distributions nowadays use GNOME desktop environment because it is the popular one and it is the most stable DE available in the market. Distributions like Fedora, Red Hat, CentOS, Manzaro and the other distributions, they also comes with a GNOME desktop environment variant. So they all are using GNOME desktop environment, but they don't look very good and beautiful and amazing. And uh, they are not elementary OS because elementary Elementary OS is just amazing. It looks so elegant because the guys who started the project and these guys are still developing it, they are the UX engineers. So they know their stuff very well. That is why it looks amazingly good. I mean, there is no comparison with elementary OS, but you can make your own distro, whatever distro you are using to look like that beautiful that you want. So you can do that using some themes. For example, I have done it for my Ubuntu. So this is how my system looks like. So I have added the themes, the icon themes. I have added the cursor theme. So this is not the cursor theme that I use. I use this one. So I'm going to show you the cursor theme that I'm using that I like to use basically. So it's a pure dark. So it looks amazing as you can see. And uh, I'm using this uh, Dracula theme here and the Conta icon theme for the folders and the Numix icon pack for these icons. And I've also changed the drawer icon. So this is the Ubuntu icon. I have also changed the this icon here because earlier it was kind of beard. So I changed it to elementary. I have also added some extensions. For example, this is the weather extensions and this is the internet speed extension and uh, the other things. For example, the wallpaper, the background wallpaper is really going with the theme. It's kind of illuminating from the background. So it makes it look amazing. So I've done these things and I've downloaded some certain themes from the online. You can also download these things. So how you can download these things, just go to the internet and go to this amazing website that they have it's known as gnomelooks.org and it is updated very often for example somebody has added a theme around 12 minutes ago 7 minutes ago and uh, you can download all kind of themes from here so if you want to download the application theme then you can click on gtk3 it will show all the application themes that are available and you can download them. For example, this is the counter theme that I'm using here, these icons that you can see. And uh, you can also download the icon themes. For example, these icons are Numix icons, so you can find the Numix icon here. So you can download these all themes from here. You just need to go to the icons theme here and you can search for a particular theme or you can go through these themes that are available and install them in your system or add them in your system. So these are the icon themes. For example, this is uh, Papyrus. So it is uh, one of the most popular icon theme for Linux. So you can see the icons are looking really amazing. Similarly, you can also search for cursor themes. So for example, just click on cursors and it will show the different cursors that are available. So th this was the cursor that I was using earlier. So you can just simply click on it and download the cursor using this download button from here or you can also download from here and you can add these downloaded files into the folders. For example, if you want to install any cursor theme or icon theme, you just go here, download the file, click on download, download the file, just double click on it and uh, extract it. So I'm going to extract it in the home folder. So after extracting, just uh, go to your home directory. So I'm here and hit Control H. This will show the hidden folders as well. For the cursor and icon themes, you just paste the those files here in this folder. And for the application theme, you can simply paste in this themes folder. And if you don't have these folders, you can simply create these folders and don't forget to put dot before the folder name. So this is icons, so dot icons, you have to name it. And this is themes. So you have to type dot themes when you are creating these folders like this. So this is how you can add different themes and uh, different icon themes in your system. And then you can change this, these themes using the tweak tool. And if you don't have this tool, then you can download this tool using the link given in the description. And uh, if you're using any different distributions, for example, XFCE or Cinnamon, they already have uh, this tool in the system. So it comes by default in the settings application. So you just open the setting application, go to appearance and uh, you can change the themes from there. So for example, for changing application theme, just click on application theme and choose any theme you want. So for example, I'm going to change my theme to Mozave light. So it will change the theme to light. I can change the cursor theme from here. For example, if I want to use paper, so it has changed the cursor to paper. I can also change the icon themes. For example, I'm using Kanta. If I want to use ePapers, I can click on it and the icons have changed now. And I'm going to revert it to Kanta. 
then I can also change the cell theme. So in GNOME desktop environment, they also have cell theme. So you can change this theme as well. So for example, currently it looks like this, but I can change it to the this and it will look like different, a little bit different than the other one. So I can also change to light and it will look like this now. So you can do the these tweaking here using this tool. So this is how you can change the look of your distro. And I have also added some extensions here. For example, this is an extension because GNOME Desktop environment support extensions. So you can simply open the software center and go to add-ons, then simply go to cell extensions and you will see these extensions and you can install these extensions from here and you can also use the official website extensions.gnome.org and from there you can download these extensions you also have to choose an elegant wallpaper that will go well with the theme so you have to figure out the wallpaper that you want to use with your system and uh, that's it in this video and if you liked it then hit the subscribe button and like button also and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and if you know any similar website to gnome looks for downloading the themes from the online then let me know that in the comments as well and i will add it in the description for others to know and i'll catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux